Yo, what is up guys, Ultra Balls back with another Snake Draft Final game. Uh, this is the UU game between Bugsinator and Teal. Uh, so, you guys will look at the teams really quick. Like, I mentioned this last video. Uh, you guys already know the winner of this whole thing. Uh, so Teal's team was the was the winner of uh, Snake Draft. But this is the UU game, and we're just getting around to it now. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. But yeah, looking at the team, so Teal's got more Volt Turn team uh, with Mega Main, which... I don't think Mega Main is going to do that much this game with Lottie and Amoongus and Mega Alt. Uh, and then uh, Bugsinator has really cool core with Mega Altaria and Magneton, which looks to be a huge problem for Teal because uh, if the Scizor gets trapped, it's, he's going to have a hard time dealing with the Altaria. The the Kofag is cool, though, because you're able to take away its Pixelate, right, if it, if it contacts you. But uh, the one issue that I find with that is, like, if Altaria just keeps DDing up to, like, plus 4, or, or like, plus 6, even if you take away its mummy, or, like, even if you take away its pixelate, it's not gonna matter. And this is, of course, assuming that it depends on the, the Altaria set, right? So, like, if Altaria isn't, if Altaria isn't, like, a rest, or isn't, like, a refresh or whatever, then you could just go and wisp it with Kofag, but if it's, like, refresh, which I assume because there's a Magneton, it's probably the mono-attacking refresh set. If it is that, then, like, I don't even know how well Kofag really deals with that. Because, like, yeah, you could Wisp it, right? But it just keeps DDing on you and refreshing, and you can't really do anything back. So, uh, yeah, alt looks like a huge problem. And you see it out right away. It returns a Gliscor. It does a good chunk of damage, to be honest. Uh, it gets the rocks, but yeah, it's, this is where Teal, like, I hate trapping just in general. I, like, I hate that mechanic so much. Uh, and, oh, and there's a, that's, what kind of roll is that? That sucks. Alright, so that sucks for Teal. But this is why I can I hate like trapping mechanics so much in Pokemon because like it takes a lot of like every every turn is in Bugsinator's favor when this Altaria is out, if that makes any sense. Because Teal can never go hard scissor. Uh even if he does go hard scissor, he's still in another 50-50 on whether or not to U-turn. So like no matter what he does, if Scizor is ever involved, it's in it's in Bugsinator's favor. Because he has the Magneton, and that's what I, I don't like about trapping. Um, but yeah, so Teal does makes a good play, not going to Scizor because he'd be forced to U-turn anyway, right? So he goes into Kofag here, probably going to throw off a Wisp, is what I would assume. Um, but the Altaria, like I said, if, if it is Refresh, which because there's the Magneton is like what, I, what I'm assuming, it could really just stay in in Dragon Dance. And if he's like DD Roost, Return, Refresh, would be the set that I'm thinking of in my head. Um, I think he could just keep DDing and, like, refreshing. So, we'll see what happens here. So, um, yeah, if I'm Bugsinator, I'm definitely clicking Dragon Dance here. Uh, and then if I'm Kofa, if I'm Teal, I feel like you just have to click Roost. Or, uh, Roost, click Wisp. They're both thinking about their plays, though. And, um... Let's see what else. Oh, uh, Bugsinator has a Beware, which is super cool. Like, I love that Mon in RU. I don't know how good it is in, in UU or not. Uh, I think it's probably Hardwalled by Kofag. It depends, because, like, well, at least in RU, the, like, Choice Bandit set would run... Well, it could run Shadow Claw, but a lot of times it runs Earthquake over Shadow Claw. Like, to hit Do Blade harder, so... If it's... I don't know what it is. If it's Shadow Claw here, it obviously is... The Kofag doesn't wall it, because Bandit Beware is strong as hell. But if it was like, if it's not running Shadow Claw, then the Kofag's like one of the best answers to beware. Uh, so we do see the Wisp, and Bugsinator just hard returns. So this is weird to me. Uh, we see the Refresh. It could also be that it's not Dragon Dance, which I'd find strange, because I feel like if you have the, Magnezo or the Magneton there, you'd want it to help facilitate your Altaria sweep. So there's, there's a chance that the Altaria is not Dragon Dance, but... Um, like, if you are refresh, right? So, like, if you're refresh, why would you not just Dragon Dance there? That makes no sense. Because you just, like, you Dragon Dance and they, and they, if, they, if, you get, if you Dragon Dance and the Kofag Wisps you, then you just refresh the next turn and then you roost off the damage. Because Kofag does, like, Kofag can't hardly touch Mega Alt because Mega Alt's fat. It's not even going to do that much damage, I don't think. So, you see a Psychic. That did so much damage to Seismitoad. Holy shit. So yeah, uh, of course, like Bugsinator's not gonna stay in with his uh, with his Altaria that um, is lost its Pixelate. There's no reason for him to stay in on the Starmie and potentially get Ice Beam the hell because especially because like like I said, it's so good against Teal 
um, outside of the scissor, which could get trapped. So there's no way he's, uh, yeah. So he just sacks Toad, which I agree with. Um, if Teal, I don't know if Ice, if Teal had Ice Beam, I think he could have went that there, went for it there because it would have covered the Latia switch. Unless maybe it doesn't kill. I, it's possible. I don't know because like the first one was stab and it was analytic boosted. That's why I did so much. And obviously this one wouldn't be analytic, but I feel like if he had Ice Beam, it'd be fine because it would it would catch um him it would kill him if he stayed in and it would also catch the Latias. Uh, but yeah, I don't think Bugs is ever going into the Lottie there. Uh, so this to me looks like it could definitely be a Scarf. Um, it's either Scarf this or Scarf Magneton most likely. And Teal, like once again, doesn't want to go into Scizor. Like it, it sucks. I wouldn't go into Scizor. So yeah, he goes main. And that sucks for Bugs and for Bugs and Hater. That definitely sucks. But like, I agree with Teal's play of not wanting to go hard into Scizor. Like I said, like this thing probably doesn't have HP Fire, but it's like you're always like afraid in the back of your head of the double to Magneton, right? So you have to try and play it as safely as possible because there's a good chance you're gonna need that um, need that bullet punch later on in the game for the Altaria, uh, especially if it's Banded, which it looks like it could be. Like on Teal's team, it could be like Scarf Hera Banded Sizz. Um, Otherwise, he has no Scarfer, unless it's something weird like Scarf Scissor, which which is possible. It's just not very common, because the most common Heracross set is uh, Guts Flame Orb. So, we'll see. I guess we'll see, we'll see what it is uh, as the game goes on. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been kind of under the weather the last couple days. Man, it, man, it's been rough. Man, you can probably hear it in my, bo in my voice. So, you go Scissor here on Z... What is it? Z Drake? No, Z, Z Shattered Psych. Um, so, even if... Teal is banded, right? Um, I would click U-turn here, not Pursuit, because then you get trapped by the Magneton. So, I think U-turn here is fine. And if I'm Bugs, I probably just go into, like, Beware. I think Beware is going to slurp this, probably. Um, but yeah, I mean, another play for Teal would be to Pursuit and kill the Latias, but I feel like that puts you at such a risk of losing to Altaria. So he does make Pursuit play, which gets rid of the Latias, which was another huge threat for sure. But now he's just going to get trapped and die. So, yeah, I don't know if it was worth... And, and the fact that it's Pursuit definitely confirms that it's like a choice. What well, doesn't confirm, but mo most likely it's a choice Scizor. So it's either... Like, most likely it's Banded. I've seen Scarf, like, a couple times. It's not super common, but... Um, if this is Bandit Sizz, then it's probably, like I said, Scarf Hera. So, like, I could definitely see this being Scar or, uh, Bandit would be my initial instinct. And, because, yeah, like, I, I don't think that Mega Main is necessarily enough, like, speed control, uh, by itself. Because it's, it's still outsped by every Scarfer, um, and it loses to a lot of Mons. Uh, my, like, Mega Main's Fire, like, it, it's a cool Mon, but it's definitely, like... When it first dropped, I thought it might be it might be broken in this tier, but it's not that. It's it's like it's just it's a solid mom. But it, there's a lot of stuff that could come in and check it reliably well, especially because Latias is on so many teams. So that's like a really good check right there. Um, yeah. So Bugsinator probably here is gonna just I don't know what what is he thinking about just go <laughs> go into your Magneton and and kill him, and then win with Altaria. Um. Yeah, there's the Magneton. Like I said, I don't know exactly why he took like a, a minute to, to make that play. Uh, and then Magneton is obviously clicking HP Fire here. Uh, like, I'm, analytic is like a thing. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so Teal tried to try to switch out. Like, I'll, I'll be, I'm guilty of like never doing that. Like, I hardly ever check. But you, you, you always should because a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, but... Specs analytic magneton like is a legitimate set, but when you're pairing it with like Altaria, it's obviously going to be Magnapole. Um, and I like Teal obviously knew that too. He was just that it was, it was funny, made me laugh a little bit. So he's going to die to HP Fire, and after that, he probably goes into um, probably Starmie and clicks Hydro Pump, would be my guess. Yeah, and then Bugs here is going to, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't get what is taking so long. What is it, like, why why was Bugs taking so long to click HP Fire? I'd be clicking that button so fast. So, maybe he's afraid because it lets Starmie in for free? But, I don't think that matters too much. Well, start, wait, if this isn't Scarf Mag, though, Starmie just kind of cleans, doesn't it? <laughs> No, this has to be. This is definitely Scarf. This is definitely Scarf because the
the Lottie, uh, the Lottie was Z move. So this is 100% Scarf. So, like, maybe you don't want to click HP Fire because now Starmie gets a kill with Hydro, but, like, I, getting rid of Scizor is way more important because then you could just come back in afterwards and click Volt Switch. But yeah, Teal here is definitely clicking Hydro, right? Because the only thing that could take Hydro Pump would be, well, I mean, Alt and Amoongus both can, but then they can't take the move afterwards. So, like, Amoongus would get blown away by Psychic and Alt would be get, get blown away by Ice Beam. So, see the Hydro, we just see the Beware sack, which I agree was by far the best sack. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see it do anything. Um, I love that mod a lot. It's super cool. The design is fire, too. So, I wish it would have done a little bit more damage. Uh, he goes here into the main, which, yeah, he's going to Volt or something. And it, is, it was obviously Scarf Magneton, so there's no reason you'd ever stay in there. The Starmie is what kills every Mon. All right, so we see Altaria come in. And uh, this is going to be, like I said, I think this might be the end for Teal if he Dragon Dances. Because if he Dragon Dances, he's faster. Then he could just Roost on the Manetric. HP Ice is going to do, like, 30 max. Uh, well, 30, 30 to 40, I should say, is what I'm assuming. Um... Yeah, so HP Ice will probably do 30 to 40, and we see it does 44. It actually does a little bit more than what I expected. Why did he return? Wait, what? Because now he goes Starmie and Revenges. He would have been faster than everything. And if he's if he's Roost... Like, he could have DD'd and then Roosted the next turn. Unless... Alright, so... Let me think. Uh, the only thing I could think of would be, like... If he's not running max speed on Altaria, or if he's like modest, or if he's adamant, he doesn't outspeed uh, Manectric at, uh, he doesn't outspeed Manectric at plus one. And so maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe like, Teal went HP Ice, and if he did DD, then he would still be faster and could HP Ice again. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess like, he couldn't really outstall the, H the HP Ices either if they're doing 44. Because, like, Teal could just stay in and spam HP Ice, right? And if it's doing 44, and even if the Altaria is roosting up, like, it's only getting back 6% per turn, and it's never going to be able to actually set up before it gets brought down super low anyway. And then, on top of that, like, you're playing around if it gets crit one time, then you're going to have to start uh, roosting all over again. So, chances are, like, you wouldn't be able to stall out those HP Ices. They're just doing too much damage. Um, but yeah, okay, so what do we see here now? The Starm used Ice Beam killed the Altaria, so that was like immaculately played by Teal because I thought that Altaria Magneton was going to be like impossible to beat, but he beat the Altaria like relatively easily. So yeah, that was really well played. Uh, so now the Amoongus Giga Drain, Spores and Giga Drains the Kofag. Um, I don't know about that play. I probably would have kept the Kofag as Sleep Fodder and gone hard Hera. Uh, yeah, unless he would double or if he HP fired, I guess. But I still would have gone hard Hera because HP fire, even that, probably wouldn't do that much. Eh. No, but if he did, it, it would have done a decent chunk, to be honest. Or if he poison moved. Like, I understand why he didn't. Um, yeah, I understand why he sacked Kofag. But I think this could be problematic coming up, though, because the Amoongus now gets to sleep out or something else again, which is going to be a huge problem. And now Starmie, I think, is just going to click... Um, for sure click Psychic here, right? Uh, well, no, it, it's almost maybe like a 50-50 kind of. Oh, so Teal does get it right and hits, hits a Psychic move with the Swiftnet. What the fuck is this? Eject button? Wait, that actually saved Bugs', Bugs ass. That, that Eject button actually... Actually, I think Bugs... It might be a, might be a girl. I, I, if it is, I'm sorry. This is my fault. I just... Yeah. If it is, I'm sorry. Um... But yeah, Teal's gonna go here into... That was so heat. Yeah, now now Bugs wins for sure. Um, because, right, so... I guess, though, like, even the, the Amoongus snacked the, snacked the Psychic anyway, right? So, it would have Giga Drained back up the health from the... And even if it didn't have Eject Button, it would have Giga the, the Starmie anyway. And we would be in the same exact situation as what we're in right now. So, I don't think it really matters at all. Um... But yeah, I'm surprised. Like, Starmie, that's some dog shit. <laughs> Life Orb stab, super effective. You're doing 80. Like, come on, man. Get, me, get out of here with that damage. Hera Nox. Um, so this could still be two things. It could be Scarf Knock. And the reason why he had to click Knock Off was because... 
the Magneton would live, would slurp up um, poison move, and Amoongus would sleep, up, would slurp up the close combat. But what I actually think it probably is is that it's just like SD Flame Orb. Uh, we'll see here because Magneton's slower than Hera, but if Magneton outspeeds, then Hera's not Scarf. And, um, yeah, I'm assuming because he didn't go for bug move there. So what do we see? Uh, yeah, so it is, the Magneton was faster. So Magneton cleans up right now by clicking Thunderbolt again. Um, so if the Heracross, Heracross, if it was SD Flame Orb, which is what it's pretty much confirmed to be now that it wasn't Scarf, that doesn't run bug move. It runs, um, it runs close combat, facade, knock, and... Obviously, then you can't you can't kill the the Amoongus because I don't think that there's no way that uh, close combat was killing. It wasn't going to do any types of damage, so you have to like knock crit maybe is what he was going for, and then and then close combat the Magneton. But yeah, I think Bugs played the end game pretty well. Like I'm, I'm I still don't understand what the Altaria was, and I wish I would know. Uh, if, was it like non DD? Was it just was it slower than uh, Manetric at plus one? Or did he not want to roost because he felt like HP, like he couldn't like outstall the HP ISIS, right? Because I, I think that could have been it as well. Um, but yeah, I think honestly, if he had DD, I still don't get why he didn't go for it because then you could still kill the the main, and then even though you get revenged by, uh, even though you get revenged like by Kofag, isn't it like the same situation? I don't know. I, it's weird. I, I think it was probably just slower. It was probably adamant, is my guess, but. The world may never know unless unless someone wants to tell me down in the comments. Uh, if bugs, if you want to you want to hit up the comments, let us know. That'd be very much appreciated. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the game, um, yeah, you use a frontier. Oh, you you, I've been playing that shit recently with the new drops. It's incredibly fun. I I've really liked that tier now with with Co well Como Oz is I guess is like a it's like a buff to that thing. That thing's a beast. Yeah, the Azu the Serp Scolopede the one I think is broken. I hate that mon. I hate that mon in OU. It's a piece of, it's a broken, speed boost is a broken piece of shit ability. But I've been talking for way too long, so if you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.